This is a very loud bathroom sound. Hello, my fellow peeps. Welcome to another Let's Play. We are playing the Crooked Man. I don't really know what to expect from it, but I don't know. It looked pretty fun. Looked, it it uh, reminded me a lot of me, Sal, if you ever saw that. Uh, it's likely that you didn't, but it just kind of reminded me of it. So let's see how this goes. Um, arrow keys? Okay. Space bar. Let's try that. Okay, it worked. <clears throat> there was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Hooray for little rhymes. Rhymes are good. <gasps> oh, I love it. I love the way it looks. Paul. Whew! Finally, things look tidy in here. Marion. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help on, uh, th help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice! The three of us could get out, go out drinking. Get out drinking. <laughs> I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. I think I'm David. I think I, I did that right. Oh, I can move. An old TV. Yep, that, that is in fact an old TV. I uh, haven't seen a TV like that since, like, I've been to my grandparents' house. It sounds like I haven't been there in a while. What I mean is... Just... Uh, ah! Cupboards. A refrigerator. Stove. <laughs> a sink. A house. A clock. A mouse. A tiny little spouse. This is my rhyme. Do you like it? Do you like my poetry? Because it sucks, I know. You don't have to, you don't have to sugarcoat it. Oh, I can walk over this. Huh? <laughs> Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license! Cool. Let's see over here. A phone. <laughs> A box of tissues. <laughs> An empty trash can. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I, I absolutely love this. <laughs> Oh, this is a weird hallway. Oh, that was a door? Okay. An old computer. <laughs> drawers? Oh, hey, I didn't- not just a drawers, just drawers. Nothing in them. Not many clothes inside. A coat hanger. A bookshelf. It hardly has any books. An empty trash can. <laughs> okay, so these apparently are doors. Good to know, good to know. A wash basin. Washing machine. Okay, you're just gonna, like- don't want to go. Okay. You didn't call this a toilet. Apparently that's a don't want to go. I, I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't know. He just keeps saying... Oh. A bathtub? God damn it, man. Come on, David. You, I'm sure you're smarter than this. You have more to say. Uh-huh. What's worth that place? Seriously. It's filth that's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him. You hear? Look, what can I? Uh, uh, look, what can I gonna do? He's not the rich. He's not the richest guy, you know. And not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. Is this my mom and my dad? I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. Mama? Ma no? The license can wait, I guess. Better go to bed. No, it can't wait! No reason to go- Yeah, no reason whatsoever. You just have your friend's license for crying- Oh. Hello? Yes? Hello? 
Just get sucked into the phone. Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Temple? Oh my god, I haven't heard from you since like the... the, the, the uh, I don't know when she was a... Uh, 50s? I don't know. Uh, I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Yeah, I think you, you should. Let's go to sleep, man. <laughs> man, I, I feel you. I think you're right, voice inside of my head. Well, good, because I have good advice for you. I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Yeah, you are. Get to sleep, David. Shut his eyes. Neat. I like this so far. Um. Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Wow, inconsiderate, but I agree. Does that make me inconsiderate? Is it one of the neighbors? Who are you? Are you like in like a, a British home or something? Because that doesn't make it wouldn't make sense. For it to be a neighbor. Unless you were, like, in a house. Or, you're in a house. You're not in, like, a hotel. Or, like, a, a an apartment. I should go talk to them. Why do you want to... Okay. Knocking gets no response. That was a loud knock. Hello. Oh, more loud knocking. Just... That sounds like a lot of knocking. No response. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. It's just I can hear you from my room, even. You sound very manly and you're crying. Uh, it's just making it hard to sleep. Could you just stop? Would you? Not could you. He doesn't even ask. He's just like, would you stop? It's very passive. David, man, you're, uh, you seem like you're depressed. Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up, bitch. You trying to start something? Oh, wow, your, your voice got even more manly. You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Oh, wait. This is an apartment. <laughs> uh, I guess so. S sorry for waking you. Uh, bye now. I want to go downstairs. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? No, you just heard her voice. It was very manly, and you were slightly turned on by it, weren't you? No? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't know why I put that in your mind. Never mind. Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Or you could go downstairs. Nothing to do on the first floor. <laughs> this is a very loud bathroom sound. Hello? Wow. This is loud. What's happening? Bathtub? Don't want to go. What? What's making the water noises? Oh, okay. So it's the faucet. I couldn't tell. Sorry. There was absolutely nothing that changed about it. Whew. Hmm? Under the bed. Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about him bad taste. Ah, <sighs> fucking hate that Paul guy. I don't even know why I'm still friends with him. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Let me lean over it in the most creepy way possible. Hmm? Found something. Whoa! Hi. Okay, that was loud. Found a scrap from a notebook. Er, <laughs> go me, I guess. Uh, that's very blurry, I can't read it. But if I squint my eyes really hard, then I get very distinct text. This person is very consistent in how they write letters. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. Ugh. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? Huh. What is this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll go to bed. 
Yeah, okay. Let's sleep. Oh my god. Would you please just find a girlfriend or something? That sound still? Where's that coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. Yeah, me too, David. Hi. Hello. Loud. More loud noises. Yes. Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> Jeez, ums. Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... <laughs> no. No, I didn't mean... Just, I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her... Uh, tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept in till noon? I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. Well, actually, you did take it easy, but... Now you've pissed off, like, your employer or whoever. Hi, Paul. Paul? What is it? it? Yeah, uh... I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks! So, you going somewhere? He does not care. Uh, yeah, to the hospital. Ah, oh, I see... Oh, you take care. I'll, I'm not gonna. Oh wow, I didn't even read that he said actually take care. <laughs> take care of yourself, buddy. Bro. Oh yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What? What do you think I look like? Twelve? What kind of prankster kid do you take me for, David? So sorry, I didn't mean it like that. You do look like a child, though. Anyway, I'm off. This is a very boisterous amount of sounds for not a lot of people. Can I not move forward? What? I know you're there. This is ridiculous. What the shit was all that? Mom? It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Can we turn off your radio? It's a little distracting. <laughs> You've certainly grown. Uh, good. You sound healthy, but uh, not so much your radio. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. Seriously, we need to turn this radio off. So when you get better, we can live together again. And, you know, turn off the radio. That would be nice. It's really hurting my ears. It sounds kind of like Silent Hill is clutching for my balls. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Shit, this is bad. Oh, yes. They've opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Aw. Oh, I'm sorry, David. She's too far gone. Huh? Who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? M uh. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Oh, this is very bad. This is very, very bad. This is- Oh, God! My alarms! Miss Hoover! Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. Mm. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. <laughs> Understood. Let's take good care of her, okay? He really is depressed, and now I understand why. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? 
Why are you leaving me? M Mom? Oh, come on. This needs to end for crying out loud. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, it's me. Remember? Mom, what is happening? David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But, but she said my... I said leave! Leave! Miss Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives! Oh my god. Well, this got intense really fast. Hi. Are you the one that's making this cacophony of sounds? Good sir. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? I... yeah. Though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. Much like she's a patient here. I'm sorry, it's a, it's a, it's a bad joke. In poor taste. Uh-huh. She may well get better. So you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Oh, sad. Very sad. Huh. Well, this has been a, a little bit of an adventure. I'm going to call this an episode. And we'll uh, find out what's going on with his mother and his insanity and if there's ghosts or something because there was something weird going on with his bathroom i mean it obviously wasn't paul maybe it was his mother astral projecting herself being like oh hey okay. well maybe not it was probably a former tenant or whatever because something well all this and more we'll find out next time on this game that is called the crooked man that's right <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Set somebody else up for success today. You are uh, gonna have a good day if you do. All right. Bye.